Hey everybody, Daniel Fusco here, and welcome to today's Minute Message. Someone said to me recently, Fusco, so what do you do if you don't have any time to read the Bible? And I said, there's no such thing. Why? Because you ha we have time. There's so much time that we have. Now, don't get me wrong, if you're trying to read like five chapters, which I'm hoping that you're reading like that, you need to devote some time to it. But every single day, we have so much time. Like you're watching this right now on, on the internet somewhere. That means that you've taken the time, and I'm sure this isn't the first video you've watched, me or somebody else, and so there is time. So, but if you find yourself pressed for time, take an index card, write a scripture on it, and meditate on it. When you're, you know, one of the things we do in our family, we have a Bible in the bathroom. Because you know, you're in the bathroom, you know, I was part of the generation that didn't have cell phones in the bathroom when I was growing up, up until I was, I mean, I get a cell phone until I was in my 20s. And so, so you could keep a Bible in your bathroom. You can take uh, scriptures and uh, you can put on your lock screen of your phone. You know, there's so many different ways to do this. And what I just want to encourage you is whether you're reading a lot or a little, Jesus said, a person shall not live by bread alone but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. He's quoting the book of Deuteronomy, Jesus is. And so just every single day you need the word of God. It is your spiritual nourishment from the Lord and there's always time. So stop making excuses, grab the time you have and walk with the Lord. God bless you.